Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kennedy. If you're new or if you are returning, welcome back. I am so excited to have you here. Today is a very exciting video. Um, it's not any Halloween decor hunting yet, just because uh, where I live in Northern Indiana has not been hit quite as much as some other places have been. I did get a little something from at home not too long ago when they started putting out like the bare minimum. So I will eventually be making a video on that. Don't worry, I mean, I will be doing the Halloween hunting very soon. But I wanted to do a fun little like unboxing type of video today because I thought that would be fun and different for me at least. So that is what I've got planned today. Feel free to grab a beverage. I have some iced coffee here. I finally got a milk frother and it kind of changed my life. So I've been putting my creamer like i've been frothing it with pumpkin pie spice in it and putting it on my cold brew and it is so good so feel free to grab a cozy beverage we'll go ahead and get into the video today so long story short my mom and her boyfriend were downsizing their living space pretty significantly and my mom's boyfriend decided that he wanted to give me a lot of his older I guess they're like John Deere brand um, Halloween figurines. I am guessing that these are collectible items, but I've really not looked too much into like what they're worth or where they come from or how it, however many others are in the set, I guess. Also, side note, if you hear any weird <laughs> grunting or jingling noises, both of my dogs are up here. I don't usually let them stay up here when I'm recording because they're kind of loud, but they were downstairs like pacing around since I was up here so I was like fine you can come up here as long as you're quiet and they're doing a pretty good job so far so I'm not gonna kick them out yet but anyway um when I was given these items I briefly opened each one up there's like four of them here and I didn't really get a chance to like look at all of them up close and see all of the cute details so that's what I wanted to do with you guys and kind of make it just like a fun little show and tell unboxing thing I guess so we can all enjoy them together because they're super cute I don't know how old they are or anything I can look up that stuff later but I just wanted to share it in the meantime so each one is labeled but I don't know if they're in the right order or not so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the one that is listed as the pumpkin patch sorry if the sound of styrofoam is like too much for you because <laughs> that's what these are all packed in go ahead and do the pumpkin patch first so this is our pumpkin patch it's got a little scarecrow um, the John Deere logo some pumpkins of course we've got a little sign that says Halloween festival on the side how cute a little farmer in there I love the design of this one it's so cute those are some nice sized pumpkins too. That is definitely a festival I would love to attend. And also this little guy on the scarecrow, it does say um, bobbing for apples. Sorry, I don't know if my camera is going to focus or not. It says bobbing for apples, so that's adorable. Some of these do have little figurines in their boxes too. So let's see. This one looks like it comes with a little witch. Look at her. Sorry, I have to do the uh, <laughs> the old beauty influencer hack. It's a little witch. Also, please don't talk about my nails because I know I need to redo them. Let's ignore that. But she is adorable and super tiny. So I will safely put her back in this bag <laughs> and see if there's any other figurines. I think the only one I'm so sorry. That styrofoam noise is killer. Yeah, the only other figurine in this one is like another little tree. So nothing too exciting there. <laughs> that was Pumpkin Patch. It does say certificate enclosed. So I don't know if these are like worth anything. Yeah, it's got like certificate of authenticity in there. This one says Halloween Farmhouse. Oh, this one's cute. This is just a simple little house with some pumpkins on the porch. It says Happy Halloween. 
there's like a cute little vintage style pumpkin in the window, a little black cat. They've got some witch figurines and then this little lady on the front just enjoying her porch. I would love to live here. And then there are some adorable tiny jack-o'-lanterns like lining the framing of the house which I think is so cute. I love the little details on these. They are adorable. So this one's farmhouse. So cute. Oh, I think we've got her husband and I don't know. He should be sitting on something, I'm guessing. He ought to be sitting on something, I don't know what. I have nothing for you to sit on. I don't think that this came with, <laughs> with this set. This is like a glitter crow with some like berries. This is like not the right figurine for this. So <laughs> I don't know where that goes. I'll need to find this man his lawnmower or whatever he's looking for. Next up, this one just says Halloween. So that's vague. Oh, ha Halloween movie theater. Okay. Another certificate. That noise is just dreadful. This one is the Halloween movie theater. Okay, this is adorable. So this one just says scary film feature. We've got some adorable jack-o'-lanterns. It's got the scary feature on the front. How welcoming does that look? Absolutely. And it says now showing scary feature. And then if you, I didn't show this, if you show the inside, Frankenstein himself will be greeting you along with the uh, the little movie attendant. That looks promising though. And then there is a little ghost and pumpkin up on the front of this one. I don't know how well you can see them, but there's a little ghost up there. So that is super, super cute. And there are no extra figurines with this one. So this one is adorable though. No hate to John Deere. I'm pretty sure that's who my mom's boyfriend was maybe affiliated with, I'm not sure. But I'm glad that they didn't put their logo on everything <laughs> because I'm obviously not like super inclined to just decorate my house with John Deere stuff, but I can still appreciate it, especially since it's all very like farm themed. It's still super cute and I will gladly put these out this fall in a little um, decorative setting. I know some of them, they did give me some lights to put up with them so I will be able to like put them on a tablescape this fall and I think that'll be super cute. So I've got one more to go. Again, sorry if this is like a short video, I just figured it would be super fun to show you guys all of these. I assumed if anyone was going to appreciate it, it would be <laughs> all of you guys. So this one, um, I don't know what this is technically called. It looks like another big haunted barn. Cool. I was going to say, it's another farm. They are all farm buildings and there are no figurines. Oh, this one's cute. This one's the haunted barn. How adorable is that? You've got a little scarecrow on the inside. Let's see what else there is because I can't really tell. There's a spider, black widow spider, and our little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern scarecrow there too. You've got the John Deere sign and then easily the, the best part is clearly the giant jack-o'-lantern silo. Like how cute is he? I don't know what my favorite one is. But I love the leaf details. There's a cute little owl up there too. And truly, it's all the tiny little things that I enjoy about these. Like I love the leaves everywhere. And just the tiny attentions to detail. There's still some styrofoam on there. But yeah, that is our haunted barn. How cute. So please let me know you guys um, which figure, which figurine was your favorite? Um, I am really intrigued to look into the other John Deere things now and see if they're like other collectibles or where they came from or how old they are. I have a lot of questions now about all of these, but I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Uh, and go ahead and just leave a little jack-o'-lantern so I can know that you watched this video to the end. 
Um, if you don't already know, you can find me over on Instagram. The username is just Kennedy Couser over there, and I would love to interact with you. I post a lot of Halloween content on there. It's just a Halloween Instagram for me, so if you're into that type of thing, I hope to see you over there. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Stay cool, because obviously we're getting into the summer now, so I hope to catch you guys again very soon, uh, and we'll get to Halloween decor hunting next. So I am so, so excited and I will talk to you guys later. See ya!